Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Very excited because today it's already 426 but I decided that I might as well vlog because I don't know I have some things I want to talk about. I also want to talk a lot about the winter blues and not really feeling your best during this time of the year where most people are super happy but I've been kind of struggling a little bit but I kind of want to just be real with you and take you guys along on what I try to do to feel a little bit more positive during this time because it can be hard but I try my best and whenever the camera turns on and I'm talking to you guys I just feel like my day gets better so yeah let's go ahead right now I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and get some things for dinner but I'll take you guys along with me but first, okay, so it's been getting darker earlier because obviously it's winter now and that has been affecting me emotionally and mentally. I don't know if it's only me, but I don't know. I just do not like the darkness. I've always never liked the darkness. I used to love the time of the year, but now since I'm getting older, I just feel like I don't like, I don't like the dark. So that's why my lights are always on, which is probably horrible for the environment, but I feel like light makes me feel a lot better. Yeah, the lights are on. It's just something that I need. I need light. All right, I got my mask, I got my keys, and let's go to Trader Joe's. And now the sun is setting. This is the first time I'm out today and it just feels so nice and fresh. I just always forget how beautiful it is to be outside. Don't get me wrong, I am always outside, but just, it just hits different right now. It feels so nice. All right, everyone, so we're in the car we're driving right now and I'm just feeling super grateful because my husband cleaned the car and it feels so nice and fresh. But anyway, but as we're driving, I kind of just want to talk to you guys a little bit about my winter blues. I don't really want to call it seasonal depression because I don't know. I just don't know. At the next stop sign, turn right. I'm a therapist about that, but I've just been feeling really down when, like, whenever it gets dark, I start to feel lonely and I'm just not feeling my best and... Yeah, it's just a weird feeling that I don't like. It, like. it makes me miss summertime. And that's kind of part of the reason why I went to Arizona too was because I know that in Arizona, it's like still very sunny and it felt like spring and summertime. And I was really enjoying it. So yeah, I just want you all to know that like, to know that if you're feeling this way too, you're not alone. Um, I just wish everyone the best, but sometimes people have a really difficult time with this you know, with winter time and December in general. And yeah, you're not alone and your feelings matter too. And it's been hard, but I'll show you some things that I do later on today. And I've also been taking more baths and showers lately. So let's cut to the future and let me show you some of the products I've been using that make me so joyful in the shower. Hello everyone, we are in my bathroom now and I'm gonna go ahead and show you some things that do make my day a little bit better especially during this time. So I've been using really just fun bath products, especially from Lush. This one is from Lush. It's called Posh Chocolate and it is a body wash and it, I kid you not, it smells like Nutella. I know that's kind of weird like bathing with Nutella chocolate, but it just makes your body smell so sweet and delicious. Whoo, I love that, that's how it looks. It looks like chocolate, like a chocolate, chocolate pudding or something, but it's hazelnut milk and cocoa powder give this wash a nutty chocolatey base. I love it. And it's not too like chemically, of course, because it is lush. That's why this makes showering so much fun. Another thing from Lush that I got, which I haven't used yet, but it just smells really cute. I love, oh my gosh, I love Lush, but I got a bath bomb and I haven't used it yet, but I do have a tub here. But this one looks like this. Oh my gosh, it smells so sweet. Like it literally makes my whole like bathroom smell like a lush door, just having these products. So this smells very sweet. It's called Snow Fairy. And then, um, because I am a massage therapist now, which has changed my life, I feel like my body is always in pain. Well, not as much anymore, but like, you're getting used to working your muscles all the time and you have to exercise a lot to keep fit and to keep your stamina. So I got these things. Okay, so I got the Dr. Teal's Sleep Bath. 
Um, this is for bubble bath. And it also has melatonin in it. Love that. As well as the salts. This one specifically is for like sore muscles, which I need. It's Epsom salt, which helps with aches and pains. And of course, it also has melatonin and lavender and chamomile. So I have used this once actually. And it's just nice and relaxing, especially during the nighttime when it's like, I really start to feel a little bit sad because it's dark already. I take this and it's nice to just relax in the bathtub. So these are the products I've been loving um, just to help a little bit with my mood these days. Hello again. All right, so we're in the parking lot of Trader Joe's. So let's go inside. But I hope you enjoyed those clips of some of the products I've been loving lately. They have so many really, really delicious snacks. Alright, I am home right now and let me go ahead and show you what I got at Trader Joe's. I didn't get much, but I just got some vegetables. Um, I got the tomatoes and lettuce for the BLTs tonight. Some bread and then I got some goodies. I just got like candy cane flavored things. Candy cane JoJo's, candy cane ice cream. I love candy cane, that's why. And then cocoa cream liqueur. So this will be good, tastes like yummy mocha alcohol. So yeah, this is what I got. And hubby's home, which is really nice. So we're gonna have a good dinner, enjoy the evening. Yeah, I guess I've kind of just been in my head a little bit about filming just because I'm just a normal girl. I don't have a specific aesthetic. I don't have a super like aesthetically pleasing Instagram, YouTube type of house. And sometimes I just feel in my head like, oh, my, my background isn't pretty enough or, you know, I don't have the best des interior designing skills, which I really want to actually be better at because I do love watching YouTube videos of like interior designing and DIY things. So I want to be better at that. But look, I don't know if I've showed you, but we have painted our kitchen like several months ago, but it looks a little bit better. I'm not sure if you can even like tell, but yeah, we actually might be moving to a two bedroom complex soon, maybe and hopefully in the beginning of next year, not quite sure yet, but that might be a possibility. And here's my baby. Hi, sweetie pie. <laughs> I love her little legs. Hi, cutie. Hi, sweetie. All right, everyone, it is around six o'clock. I just had some milk and some JoJo's. Really good. And now I wanted to show you my hobby, my new beloved hobby. And it is crocheting. I love it. I started this hobby like three days ago, I think. And I originally wanted to start it because as you all know, there was a time when I was on social media more than I should be. And, you know, as a millennial or whoever, whatever age you are, sometimes we can get too caught up in our phones and in social media, looking at too many pictures and content, which is not usually normal for a usual human. So I was like, you know what? I need a, I need a hobby where I can just relax. I can use my hands, be creative and really concentrate and just not look at my phone. And so I decided to start crocheting. And yeah, this is gonna be a scarf. So it's still quite small. I have a ways to go, but it's so much fun. Let me show you what it looks like when I crochet because let me tell you, it is an addicting hobby. Once you start doing the movements, you just wanna keep going. So you like go into loops pretty much. You go into different loops and I love doing this watching TV or like watching my favorite show, especially at night or in bed. It is the coziest and it's super warm too. Like my, my mother-in-law made me crocheted socks or slippers and they're just so soft, super, super cozy. It's, it was a bit difficult starting and I know I'm literally a beginner so I have so much to learn, but I wanna make these outfits eventually, something similar to this because I just thought it was the cutest thing seeing those like little puffy hearts and flowers. 
And so yeah, we'll see. I want to continue just making things for family and friends. I love being creative. I love using my hands. My literal job is my hands too. So I love my hands, using my hands for things. So now I can make earrings, I can crochet. And what else can I do? Let's see, it's all about learning. I also just wanted to like brighten up my mood. So hobbies definitely help. And as you can see over there, that's like my recording area. I was singing last night, which was so much fun. And singing always brightens my mood. It is like one of the best things ever for me. I love singing. So I was recording a little bit and just trying to enjoy it because when that sun goes down, na na na, sorry. <laughs> but when the sun goes down, I just like feel like it's been a waste of a day and I feel like I didn't do much and I just feel like, I don't know, it's, it's strange. But I am continuing to just learn how to be at peace and just try to just calm down my mind because I'm an overthinker and yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys later. This girl talks so much. Like, it's crazy. You talk so much, sweetie. But in regards to the winter blues, I was talking to my best friend the other day and I was telling her how down I feel, especially when the sun goes down. And she was saying, okay, what are some things that you enjoy doing at night? So I've been thinking and here are a few things that I do enjoy doing at nighttime. And it is being with family as much as I can. I used to be more of like an introvert back in the day before COVID. But now because of COVID and during these, you know, the winter times, I think I'm a little bit more of an extrovert, but not completely. But I do want to be around people more, which I find strange because I was never like that before. But now I just want to like see friends, family, everyone, even though it's still hard because of COVID times. Um, another thing I like doing at night is karaoke, even if it's alone. I love it. It's so much fun. Especially to the Wicked soundtrack. Now, Alfie, listen to me. Just say you're sorry. You could still be with the wizard, but you've worked and waited for. I've been doing with my husband is actually going to drive-in theater so here's a clip of us going to a drive-in theater for one of our dates and it is at night too because it has to be like a nighttime thing so that's something that does help you know me enjoy the nighttime and the darkness oh. hey everyone now we're in the drive through movie theater this is our spot and now we're gonna get on the mattress of our truck pickup truck so, we have some pizza, good old pizza from this delicious restaurant in Treasure Island. Let me show you. Very delicious. We got a Snuggie, one Snuggie, one warm blanket. We got our snacks. Two pillows right over there. And then we have our radio to listen to the audio and our AirPods. Yay! And for the nights that are harder, I literally just like to put on a cozy movie. I like to make some hot chocolate and crochet. I think crocheting is a lot of fun, especially when you're watching a movie. So yes, those are a few things that I like doing. Of course, it's not easy. And if you're also feeling a little bit down during this time, you are not alone. When you watch content on YouTube, sometimes life seems so glamorous and um, people just film the happy moments, but it's life and not every moment is going to be super positive and perfect. And this is my life. It's not like that at all, but try to make the most of it. And I just want to keep getting better every day. And just, I just try to see the brightness 
in the hard times even though it can be hard but anyway i love you all and i'm going to be posting a video soon about a bunch of clips that i have been filming throughout these months but i just never posted on youtube just because of course i'm in my head so i'm going to post what i've been up to these past couple of months where i've been things like that so i'll see you all soon again i wish i wish the best for all of you i want you all to just to be healthy mentally physically and emotionally so i love you all and i'll see you again soon if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and so happy to have you here and i'll see you next time bye